Hey everybody, so this just leaked, but is it real? A Spider-Man movie with all three Spider-Mans? We're about to dive in, but first, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell. So we have watched a new trailer that appears to show all three Spider-Mans. This would mean longtime favorite Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield would be fighting alongside Tom Holland's Spider-Man. Nothing like this has ever been done in film. Taking a movie from nearly 20 years ago and a movie from nearly 10 years ago and taking characters from those films to be in a present film while also being the same as they were in the films they were zapped out of. Not complicated, right? Yeah, it's the most interesting thing when it comes to how this film is going to relate uh, with all the old films. When you look at the trailer, you know, we hear them talking about the villains, and, and that's one thing, you know, that, that's, that kind of stuck out to me is that they mentioned and touched on how the Spider Man from each film was the one that killed those villains. And it makes you wonder how they're going to try to tie this into the multiverse. You know, will this act as, you know, these Spider-Man characters coming from each film and finishing what they started? Or will these Spider-Mans be, you know, coming in and, you know, kind of creating a whole new world? You know, there's one option where these villains come in and they die at the hands of the Spider-Man from the films. That's one way they could go to kind of close the loop, in essence. Or, this could totally reset the story for each of these villains and effectively blow the multiverse wide open with brand new stories. It makes you think that, you know, we're going to kind of get a new story in some level, you know, on a different note. When you look at it, there's been some, you know, some news out about the potential for a fourth original Spider-Man film um, directed by Sam Raimi. Something that kind of reminds me of what they, they did with the Wolverine Logan film, where it was kind of a book into the series with the idea of Tobey Maguire playing old Spider-Man, kind of a more grisly version uh, of Spider-Man. But, you know, it makes you wonder how they would make that work with the timelines. Because if Spider-Man comes in, he's coming in based on the timeline from the previous film. So maybe he's not an older version. So we'd have to see how that works out. Unless, you know, he becomes part of the MCU and he picks up this new, this new identity. Uh, the film is very exciting. It provides a lot of uh, amazing opportunities. The X-Men are coming. The X-Men are coming. So the big question that we're going to pose is what's next? Will this film be setting up Doctor Strange 2? Or will this be, you know, the beginning of a whole new world for the MCU? We'll be very interested to see how this all plays out. And, you know, as always, thanks for watching. And once again, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and give us a like. Thanks for watching.